Story time with Fergie and friends. Hello, magic dust is in the air. Yes, yes, come on, Granny. And yes, very exciting times. And I'm a Granny. Woo! Am I a Granny? I put my Granny hat on and my reading Granny glasses on. I find them at last. <laughs> Baby on the Way, woo, created by Hannah Davison, Flicker Williams and Marco Palmieri. Thank you so much. How exciting. Deep in the vegetable garden, Perry and Sarah searched under big green leaves. They found pumpkins, zucchinis, watermelons and something else. <gasps> what else? Perry, your mum looks different, said Sarah. What do you mean, asked Perry. She seemed just the same to him. Hmm, can't you see? Her tummy's bigger, whispered Sarah. Is something hiding under there? Perry looked closer. Sarah was right. <gasps> What's happening? asked Perry, feeling her warm round tummy. Mum laughed. There's a baby growing in here, she said. It's going to be part of our family. You'll be a big brother, Perry. Big brothers are very important. Sarah imagined the baby snuggled up inside. Then suddenly they felt bump, bump, bump. Did you feel that? asked Sarah. The baby can hear us talking. Perry and Sarah decided to get things ready for the baby. First, they decorated the baby's bedroom. Then they picked up some new clothes. Then they, they knew just what the baby would like. One day, much later, Perry's grandma came to stay. It's time, she said. Mum's ready to have the baby. Let's make some mischief while we wait. Beep, beep. Oh, she was a very trendy granny, she was. Finally, said Perry, he helped carry her overnight bag inside. Who would you like to bring along on our adventures, Grandma asked. Perry knew exactly who he wanted to play with and invite. Sarah and Perry played and played all day long. Then they snuggled in for story time. At breakfast, the phone rang. It's a boy, cried Grandma. Yay! Perry ate his banana blueberry pancakes, feeling very big brotherly indeed. When they went to meet Perry's little brother, his mum was sitting up in bed. The tiny, the teeny tiny baby slept swaddled in her arms. Can you believe that you were this small once, she said, but look how much you've grown. <laughs> when the baby came home, Perry and Sarah wanted to help. Let's get the nappies. Babies need a lot of changing, said Sarah. Good idea, said Perry, but someone else can do the messy bit. Yeah, woo. Helping with the baby was fun. After a while, Perry and Sarah were ready to do something else. Can we go to the playground? asked Perry. But his dad was too busy folding laundry. Can you, can you take us, Mum? he asked. But she was feeding the baby again. Hmm. Perry's face turned red hot. He knocked all the folded laundry onto the floor. Oh dear. I have an idea, said Sarah. She helped Perry build a fort from the messed up laundry. Perry's dad slipped a box of toys inside, toys they'd never seen before. A present from the baby, something special to play with uh, while he's being fed. Perry and Sarah were still busy when Perry's dad popped in. Let's go to the playground now, he said. Thank you for being so patient. It's a big change having a baby in the house. Oh, sure is. Wow. The baby was too little to play, so Perry and Sarah showed him how to stretch between the monkey bars, swing up to the sky and race down the slide. Afterwards, the baby fell asleep and missed all of story time. Oh dear. On Sunday, Perry's friends and family came over, bringing plates piled high with delicious food. Perry and Sarah introduced the baby to everybody there. You're good at being a big brother, said Sarah. It's a very important job, said Perry. I think I like it. Just imagine all the adventures you'll have together said Grandma. Mm. And the adventures went on and on and on and on. Oh, look, and there's 12 helpful hints for grown-ups on the new baby. Oh, I think I better take a read of that, don't you? Bye, everybody. With Fergie and friends, with Fergie and friends,